Hey everyone, I'm Jim Bathurst, head coach here at Nerd Fitness, and today we're going to be talking about progressive overload because it's such a critical component in building strength and muscle. Progressive overloading is all about doing a little bit more each time. So whether that's lifting a little bit more weight or doing another rep, we're really testing our body's capabilities. By doing this slowly but surely and consistently over time, we're going to get stronger as our body adapts to the ever-increasing demands. Without overload, there is no adaptation and progress. When we challenge our body, it responds in turn several different ways. By increasing neuromuscular coordination, by increasing bone and muscle mass, there is improvement in the connective tissue strength, and there is increased lactic acid tolerance. So you can see there's a host of benefits just by increasing the difficulty of your workouts over the weeks and months. There are a lot of different ways that you can increase the challenge of a workout from day to day and week to week. First off and most obvious would be increasing the weight. Now we'll talk a little bit later about how to do that, but that's one of the most classic ones. Another way to increase the difficulty of a workout is to increase the number of reps that you do. So say you did 10 reps of the exercise last time, maybe you do 11 this time. Another great way to increase the difficulty of the workout is to increase the number of sets that you do. So maybe you did three sets of 10 push-ups last time, maybe four sets of 10 push-ups this time. You can also increase the frequency of your workouts to make things more challenging. So say you're working out twice a week on Monday and Thursday, you can increase it to working out on Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. This will give you more total work for the week and be a little tougher. You can also look to decrease your rest time in between your sets. So you'll have the same weight, same reps, but just the period of time you rest between sets will decrease. This may be a good option for some based on your goals and your schedule. For those of you progressing bodyweight exercises, Look to see if you can do a more difficult variation or a more difficult angle for that exercise. It's a great way to make things more challenging. And for any exercise, you can also adjust the tempo at which you do that exercise. So maybe slow down a little bit in part or all of the exercise. You can even hold at the bottom or most difficult section of that exercise. You know you're ready to increase the weight or intensity when you're able to do all the prescribed sets and reps for an exercise and you still feel like you could do a few more reps. When you're just starting off, you'll adapt quickly. A lot of this adaptation comes from just increased coordination and comfort with the exercise. That means that you'll be able to progressively overload much more frequently. You might be increasing your difficulty between each workout or every single week. It's important to understand that progressive overloading doesn't just increase upwards forever. For example, if you started benching 45 pounds and you increased five pounds every week, you'd be benching over 500 pounds in less than two years. That would be insane, and that's not how this works. After a while, progress will go slower and slower. You may even plateau and stay at the same intensity for several weeks or more, and that's totally fine. How long you stay on those plateaus is going to be dependent on a lot of factors, your training, your nutrition, your recovery, and even your age. We recommend going up in small increments when adding weight to an exercise. For barbell lifts, five pounds or about two and a half kilos to each side of the bar is a pretty good rule of thumb. That would mean a total increase of 10 pounds or about five kilos to the entire lift. So you might go from benching 75 pounds to 85 pounds. For some upper body lifts, that might be too much of an increase for you. If that's the case, we recommend adding two and a half pounds or about one kilo to each side of the bar. So that would make for an increase of five pounds or two kilos for the entire lift. If even that is too much of an increase, there's even smaller fractional plates that you can buy that will increase the weight by even smaller amounts. For lower body lifts, we might wanna add a little bit more weight. 
So you might wanna add 10 pounds or about five kilos to each side of the bar. That would make for an increase of 20 pounds or 10 kilos for the entire lift. So you might go from deadlifting 135 pounds to deadlifting 155 pounds. The biggest danger with progressive overloading is simply just pushing too hard and too fast before your body can properly adapt. Can you do handstand push-ups or a 315 pound deadlift? Sure. There's nothing inherently dangerous with those exercises but I've seen a lot of people jump too far, too fast, and that's when they hurt themselves. Start your training by doing it less than you think, even perhaps lifting only the bar or even a broomstick. When you do increase in weight, do so in small increments. There is no rush. Now, do you always have to be progressively overloading, always adding weight and reps and difficulty to your exercises and workouts? No, it's totally fine just to hold steady where you're at. You're still getting tons of great benefits just by moving around. We made this video for those of you who had heard the term progressive overload, but weren't quite sure what that meant, as well as those people who had wanted to increase the difficulty of their workouts, but just weren't quite sure how. So there you have it. In order to get strong and progress, you need to progressively overload. Adding more weight to an exercise is one of the most common methods, but remember, we can increase difficulty in a number of different ways. We can increase the reps, increase the sets, increase the frequency of our workouts during the week, decrease our rest time, we can pick a more difficult variation, and we can also play around with the tempo of the exercise slowing down part of the range of motion, or even holding. Just remember to make small changes. It'll take time for your body to adjust and adapt, and rushing it is just asking for trouble. All right, that's it for now, everyone. Stay strong, stay nerdy. If you found this video helpful, be sure to like it. Also be sure to subscribe to our channel for more great content. You can also check us out at Instagram, Facebook, and at nerdfitness.com. Links in the description below.